ever since we've been at the hospital, my baby hasn't even laughed at me or smiled or anything. It's really, really hard. A mother speaking out for the first time since her seven-month-old baby boy was severely burned last week. It's a story that many of you are still talking about. A seven-month-old baby burned while at the babysitters. I'm Deanna Dubarry. And I'm Jennifer Mobilia. Isan Morris is medically sedated because of burns on his lower back, bottom, legs, and feet. For the first time, Isan's mother is talking about what happened. Amanda Shivari spoke with her and joins us now live from Strong Memorial Hospital. Amanda. Jen Isan here is in stable condition at Strong Memorial Hospital tonight. He had to have a blood transfusion today. His mother was in tears as she explained what her son has been through and how she's waiting for her baby boy to get better. He was really active. He was almost walking. Now this is going to slow him down on walking. He has to get physical therapy. But he was really, really like a really humble baby. He was just, he just smiled all the time and laughed. Doctors at Strong say water that was 142 degrees is what caused these burns to Isan's back, bottom, and legs. Ever since we've been at the hospital, my baby hasn't even laughed at me or smiled or anything. It's really, really hard. <laughs> Essence Pulley is heartbroken over what happened to her little boy. She says the boy's father dropped him off at the babysitter's house, and that's where he was burned. Yesterday, I went to talk to the babysitter, who's Isan's great aunt. She said the boy was dropped off to her 12 year old daughter and that no adults were home. For mom, this story doesn't add up. My baby, he didn't run out of wipes. That's, that's a fact that I know. So the story just isn't right. I'm not blaming anybody on, you know, doing it intentionally on purpose because it's his family, as I thought. But it just, the story just isn't right. Rochester police are investigating, but no arrests have been made. As for Isan, he has a long road ahead. But mom says he's a fighter. He has to get skin grafts. Um, he had a blood transfusion. He's anemic now. His whole body is, is pretty much changing. Many of you have been reaching out to us on social media asking how long it could take for burns like this to happen. The answer is with 140 degree water, just five seconds. So